All right, guys, and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father, and this is <laughs> hashtag AFL Chair Chat. Boom. Um, I'm going to do a review today of North Melbourne versus GWS, the Giants versus the Kangaroos. It was played in Tasmania. Uh, it was an absolutely thrilling game to watch. Um, started uh, first quarter. First quarter, um, real, no, no real. Overall, amazing bits of play in the first quarter. Zebo stood out for his big hits. He was he done really, really well. Got involved in an awful lot. So he was probably the star man of the first quarter for me for North Melbourne, the Kangaroos. He did really well. Um, and the first quarter finished 18-20. Before the match, I actually thought um, North Melbourne Kangaroos. I tipped them for um, to win the game because they had had good form. Uh, I think the Giants were off the back of uh, a defeat, even though they had the chance to go second uh, second again in the table. I just fancied uh, the Kangaroos before it started because of farm they were on since the new coaches came in. Anyway, on to the second quarter. Giants, um, Toby Green, nice goal from 50 metres, absolutely pelt, smacked it. He had an outstanding game all round. Um, really enjoyable to watch. Um, Players I've mentioned in this quarter really were Thomas, uh, the indigenous player from North Melbourne. Brown, Ben Brown, of course. He kicked one and got two behinds. One of them was contested, one of the behinds. It was actually given as a goal and then they took it back down to a behind. So he was unfortunate there. And Kane Turner, he is a great little forward, isn't he? Um, a couple of notes that I put down, he just picks up the scraps in and around rocks and stuff, finds that yard of space, he has a lot of, of foot, he's got footy intelligence as I like to call it, um, just finds a little bit of space from the pack and opens up his boot, boom, goal, really good goal there, so he's quite an intelligent little player and one that I'm going to actually look into a little bit more. Scott Thompson, the niggler, he's an absolute nuisance of a player to play against, isn't he? All that being said, though, he is an absolutely top-class player. He's very, very good player. But when he's playing, when you're playing against him, you'd love to hit him. He's that sort of a player. He's always doing stuff. He played big today, though. I mean, he took some boys down, big hits, big tackles, and some other petulant stuff as well, uh, which involved him and another uh, player from the Giants. Um, pushing him and him falling over. I think he took a tumble the first one easily and then the second time he actually genuinely got pushed over but it wasn't enough for the umpire to um, write it down or record it. Um, so that was pretty good. Um, Green and Zebo was a good... Um, it was good in this quarter as well. They had a bit. Of, they were locking horns like two stags, rutting the rutting season, really going at each other quite a bit. Really enjoyed that battle there between them at one point. Um, it was amazing stuff throughout in that quarter for big hits. There was... I wouldn't call it fights, but there was loads of handbag stuff happening all over the place, just constantly throughout the second quarter. Really excellent and entertaining stuff to watch. People getting shoved, uh, people getting pulled down, big tackles, big hits, late tackles. Um, I'm not too sure if this was the quarter Ben Brown put the elbow in. I'm sure he'll be cited for that. He was fully aware of what he was doing with his elbow, which, um, as I say, will probably um, go to the reviews panel and they will see fit to probably punish him for that, I'd imagine. Even though he never made huge contact, the intention was there. Um, the Giants, Josh Kelly had a nice kick from the boundary left boot, and it really, really was. He's out wide, he's went over the boundary line to come out and back on to the field of play, and he's rifled it from about 50 metres, I think with a left boot from the right-hand side. Great goal there. Um, and a goal from Garner, North Melbourne, that was quite a good goal, but as a, one of my main notes that I wrote down for the second quarter was, wow, lovely hit with the shoulder at the end of the round, and that was number three for North Melbourne, hitting the Giants player, and I don't know what the Giants player's name was, so apologies for that, but he's literally, he's kind of put the arm out, but he's went through him with everything he's got, just as he was trying to pick up the bottle, Boom, with a shoulder, straight into him, and he was looking a little sheepish after that, but it was absolutely sensational timing, and he's really left a, a marker on him there. Um, so that round, uh, that quarter, sorry, finished 45 apiece, um, going in at half time. Third, this was when the Giants started to step up and uh, show their quality um, over North Melbourne today. Um, there was huge hits. Uh, 
Coniglio, um, nice glider from the left pocket. He's put it through the sticks. He actually had two or three goals um, in the last couple of quarters. I think it was three, but I could be wrong. I think it may be two. But he really, the old stager, um, apparently, I don't know if he's been out of it for a wee while, but he's came in and he's still got the ability to kick for a goal. So good, good uh, third quarter for him. Green and Taranto uh, combine for a goal in that round, in that quarter as well. Um, pretty much was the set the, the the tone for the third quarter was just giants all over. They were the first to the balls. They were the one that was really looking more deadly in front of goal. If they couldn't, if they couldn't play well and get big marks, they were finding other ways to score, like down the boundary line. Um, they just found ways to score, and they were really enjoyable to watch. That's really the first time I've properly sat and watched and analysed, uh, and did the first three quarters anyway, of a Giants game. Really physical team. Um, what's his name? Is it Big Darcy? Uh, no, sorry, it was Mumford. Mumford for um, the Giants. He's made his way back, I believe, from injury. He does look a bit top-heavy. He looks like he's maybe been towing a few caravans since he's been out. I think he's been out with injury. But, boy, he made his mark. He, I think he, he's coming back in at the perfect time coming up to the uh, finals now for the Giants, who I'm sure are guaranteed final spot. Um, but he looks like he'll be a big player for them anyway. So going in to the fourth quarter, the business quarter as I'd call it, it was 54-72 to the Giants, uh, I never wrote any notes down here, and the reason why I never was because I live streamed the last quarter, but it was really, really good, uh, North Melbourne did make a little bit of a uh, impact towards the end of the fourth quarter, but the start of the fourth was kind of similar as the third, um, the Giants just took the, the bull by the, the horns and just got the job done, it finished 68 91 to the Giants, who thoroughly deserved their win today. I was quite surprised uh, in the golfing class in the last two quarters. Well, at least the first 10 minutes of the last quarter anyway. So the third quarter and uh, the last, the first 10 minutes of the last quarter, the Giants really just got the job done there and seen it out. North Melbourne missed a couple of straightforward enough kicks, which I thought, and I was actually talking on the live stream, there's a North Melbourne, a kangaroo supporter on, and he says, there is a lot of this. Um, they're tired, they're fatigued, they've been running up and down, up and down. It was actually Anderson that mixed the kick, the boy that hit, hit the Giants player with the shoulder, uh, the number three for North Melbourne. He's, he's just, I think he's maybe about 30 metres out, but not, not too much more than that. Uh, pretty straightforward kick in front of the, the, the sticks, and he scuffed it wide from behind. Um, I was quite disappointed with the, the kick in there. I think Brown missed one as well, which I expected him to kick because... He's usually damn good under pressure. Um, so that concludes it, really. Um, the Giants thoroughly deserved their win. As I say, I was very, very impressed with them. Um, player that stood out for North Melbourne? Uh, it's, it's a mixture. I would probably give it to Thomas. He he was quite good in the first opening, the, the first two uh, quarters anyway, and he was a little bit involved towards the end as well. So probably Thomas... Um, and I had Green down for my man of the match for the first half of the game, but somebody actually showed me the stats of Toronto. Uh, I think he had like something 20 or 25 disposals. He had so many marks, and he also kicked a goal. So they were saying he was probably a uh, man of the match. And upon looking at the stats now, I'd probably have to agree with it. Um, he was very, very good today, and so was Green. Um, just all in all, the Giants deserved the win. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. But... I'm going to leave it with this. This was an absolutely brilliant advert for the sport again. And I find myself saying this over and over and over again. And the reason being, it was played in a completely competitive fashion. Big hits. And nobody was pulling out of anything. And as I said in my live stream, a true man never pulls out. <laughs> so at the end of the day, big hits, big tackles, maybe a couple of off-the-ball incidences that are going to end. There's a couple of punches I forgot to mention as well, just on the goal mouth, and I'm sure the umpires recorded them, um, which resulted in a free kick going the opposite way to North Melbourne, I think. Um, but all in all, brilliant, and it was because it was it was probably the most physical game, actually. I want to leave it on that. It was the most physical game I've seen yet. Two teams really, really went for it. Just in the end, North Melbourne ran out of steam, 
uh, and the Giants showed their quality. So congratulations to them and uh, uh, hard lines to North Melbourne. I'm sure you'll bounce back again. Um, but the Giants are looking good. Second in the ladder again now and I'm sure this near enough guarantees. I don't know about mathematically but it guarantees for me um, a final spot at the uh, and. Who knows? You never know. When you get to the final, just gets knocked out. You just do not know. You cannot call it. Thanks very much for tuning in to this video. Um, I'd like to ask you to, if you haven't, please share the videos with your friends and family. It'll really help the uh, content be seen further, wider uh, afield. Uh, and subscribe to the channel yourself and put the notifications bell on. The reason why you should do that is because... You won't miss any uploads onto the channel. Also, check out our Patreons page, which is patreon.com forward slash the Don's channel, and I'll put the link in the description section below. Thanks very much again. I am the Don Father. Peace and goodbye.